This video is designed for people who want to get started writing Python code for a BBC micro bit, and particularly if you want to build up your confidence and experience and resilience in debugging, which means finding and fixing mistakes in your code. Um, so this video goes alongside a tutorial, a basics tutorial about how to display images. You should find a link on this video now um, to get to the code. So if we have a look here, we've got some code that's been deliberately sabotaged so that you can practice debugging it. Um, so if we open this up in a new window, this is the code that you're going to have to try and fix. So there's three errors in here, a syntax error, a runtime error, and a logical error. Before we go through what those mean and how to fix them and how to find them, um, we'll show you the end result. So we should have a micro bit that when you um, run it or when you press one of the buttons, it spins round an arrow which slowly um, stops and then points in a random direction. So each time you press it, it's kind of like spin the bottle um, until it stops and points at you. So you can use this in class or at home to kind of randomly choose somebody to take part in an activity or a competition or, or a speaking activity, something like that. Okay, so let's have a look at the code. Um, first of all, when we try and run the code that you've got, with control and enter, or if you click on the, the run button down here, we get an error message. So when you're debugging, first thing to do is not to panic, um, not to try and worry about understanding the whole error message, just read through as much as you can and use the clues there um, to help you track down where the error is. The more experience you get, the more you'll be able to understand the rest of the error message. But for now, let's just use um, the line numbers. So it says line three. It doesn't mean it's always on line three. It might be the line above or the line below, um, but it's a good place to start looking. So um, let's have a look at our code. First of all, um, we've got Python to import the micro bit module and the random module. Micro bit so that we can um, control the inputs and outputs and random so we can choose a random number so that our arrow points in a different direction each time. Then line three, where we've got our first problem, we've got a list called images. Um, now this, we know it's a list in Python because it um, starts with a, um, a square bracket and it ends in a square bracket over here. Um, now this error is a syntax error, which means it stops your code from running at all. It won't even get to the first line. It refuses to run. And that's often because you've told, to do, uh, you told the program to do um, um, you've broken some of the rules of the language. Like in an English lesson, if you've forgotten to put a capital letter or full stop, um, Python is a bit of a grammar Nazi. It, it gets really upset about um, uh, when you break the rules. So in a list, has to start with a square bracket. Then we've got um, an image in here that points north, an arrow pointing north, arrow pointing um, northeast. And each item in your list is separated by a comma. So if you look through your list, um, you'll notice that towards the end, we've got the last two images aren't separated by a comma. If we fix that, then we fixed our syntax error. So we try and run it. Our program does run now. So we've got rid of all the syntax errors that stop it from running, but it doesn't do what we want it to do. So it seems to have just stopped on line six. Um, now this is a logical error, which means that our code does exactly what we've told it to do, but we've told it to do the wrong thing. These are often the hardest to find um, because they don't give you any error messages. So the comment gives you a bit of a clue. It says, keep looping forever. Um, but what it actually does is never loop at all. So a while loop should um, keep looping until a condition's met. So something like if hungry is true, um, would let you keep on eating forever and ever and ever until you stop getting hungry. Um, we had while false, which means it'll never repeat. We need while true, which means all of the lines that are indented below it are going to keep on repeating forever. OK, so we've fixed our syntax error. We've fixed our logical error. Um, so our program does start running now, but it crashes partway through. So this is a runtime error. It's when your program attempts to do something that's impossible and it just gives up and fails and crashes. So we've got a line number. So runtime errors often give you a line number, so it's easier to try and find than your logical ones. Um, and it says list index out of range. So I'm not going to tell you how to fix it, or I'm not going to tell you the right answer, but I'll give you some clues on how to try and fix it. Let's have a look first of all and see what it's trying to do. We're trying to display an image. We're trying to find an image from our list of all of these images. And we've got I% 9. Now in Python, the percent means mod or modulo. And we'll try and explain what that means in a mo. But first of all, we've got a variable called I. 
Now, if we take out this confusing bit for now and just put a zero in, this would mean we look at our list of images and the zero means the first item in our list. So this would always display our um, image pointing north. Um, so that's not what we want. Um, we want it to keep spinning round. So if we were to put one in here, it would always display northeast. If we were to put two in there, it would display the third one. And hopefully you get the idea. We want to keep on displaying a different one. So we've got a variable called i. Now we first see i on line 9. We've got a for loop here. So this indented block of code is part of your for loop. So this code gets repeated. So how many times does it get repeated? Well, we'll look at this bit here. Um, first of all, we're choosing a random number between 25 and 50. So sometimes it'll be 25, sometimes it'll be 50, sometimes any time, anything in between. And then we make a list or something that we can keep looping through um, that starts from zero and goes up to our random number. So it always starts at zero and it might go up to 25 or it might go up to 50, um, chosen at random. So this um, loop uses the variable i to start counting at zero. So first time round i will be zero. Next time round I'll be one and it keeps looping round with I getting bigger um, each time until it gets to our random number. So if we ran it now with just I in these square brackets, it would work for the first couple of times. It would display all of the first images. But then what happens when I is bigger um, than the number of images we've got in our list? We've only got one, two, three. Well, you can count how many of these there are. So that's where the modulo operator comes in. Um, if we did i mod 2, that would force this expression here, i% 2, to only ever be 0 or 1. So if we run it, it's only ever going to flip between two images. If we put 3 in, then it's going to, um, oops, sorry, it's going to mean whatever, I hope I think I've broken it, oh, I've forgotten to stop the code. That's better. Um, so yeah, uh, whatever i is, the percent 2 means that we divide it by 2, forget what the answer to that division is, but just keep the remainder. Um, so it forces it to just be 0 or 1. Um, so if we were to put 10 in here, or let's say 9 like it was to begin with, this can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8. But when i is 9, this goes back to zero again. And when i is 18, this goes back to zero again. So it forces it to be less than nine. So I haven't told you what the right answer is. Either you've understood it or you can do it by trial and error. Try and work out what this number needs to be in order to display all of your images without getting a runtime error because you're trying to access an image that doesn't yet exist in your list. Okay, so once you've fixed it, Hopefully you should have something that lets you um, spin an arrow round. Um, you can extend it, you can improve it, do whatever you like to it. Um, I hope this video has been useful.